Hello everyone, welcome back to another uh, walkthrough here. This time it's going to be for Polygon 6 or Testing Ground 6. Alright, so what we're going to do for this one is... We're going to begin by opening the entrance for it first. So, if you already know how to do this, then I would advise that you skip to the entrance of the dungeon in this video. If you don't know how to do this, then just keep watching the video. So we're going to use the camera system up here to open up the entrance. And the camera's right over here. And this camera right here, select that one. You'll see the interact option. Hit the interact option and watch it open up. Easy peasy, right? This is one of the easiest, uh, one of the easier dungeons to figure out how to open. This one and the very first testing ground were really easy. This is actually, I think this is actually one of the very first polygon dungeons that you can do in the game. But I ended up skipping over it. And I ended up doing testing ground 1 and 8 first. Now we're doing this one. Uh, this one can be a little bit, a little bit confusing, but overall it's a pretty easy dungeon. Okay, so just let me just cut out the, uh, this part here until we, until the elevator gets us down. And here we are. What is this place? Another testing ground. There should be military blueprints around here. Uh, I figured as much. Listen, Mr. Chatty Librarian, where'd you get all this intel about the military blueprints? In this all right, we can save it here. I'm gonna turn off the dialogue option right now, just so we don't have to hear this. Okay, there we go. I turned off the dialogue. I just want to focus only on the walkthrough. I don't wanna. We don't have to hear all that dialogue. I just forgot to turn it off before I started recording. Okay, am I, I think I'm missing something here. Is this... Ah, uh, there we go. These can be um, very glitchy sometimes. Like, I think there is one drawer here that gets really glitchy. I uh, can't remember which one it is. It's, I don't know if this is the right... Uh, I think it's this area here, maybe. The ones that are like against the wall. Not these ones. This one this one should be okay. The, or maybe it's a different room. Yeah, I don't think it's this room. This one should be fine. But I remember specifically there's um there's one of these drawers here. Um and they're like close together. And um, you can't grab all the items from them, or at least it highlights blue, and there's no items. So I don't know. It's very weird. I'll show you what you, what I mean if it's um if this is the right level that I'm thinking of that that it happened to me in. All right. So this is the first puzzle here. All right. So let's. Uh, we have to open the door first. Okay. You're gonna notice this door right here. See that? We have to open that. Okay, let's turn it until we get this. I think I have to... I think we have to turn this. Keep turning it until you get this. And then we have to do this. Ah, there it is. Alright, so turn it until it's face... Until the door here is facing like that. Alright, once the door is facing like that, just jump on top of here. And we should be able to open it from up here now. See? This is actually one of the... This is one of the easier ones to do. 
Is this a door lock? Just gotta snap our fingers to it. That's the easy one. I like doing that one because it's not that difficult. The one I hate doing is the color-coded one. That one is just super annoying. Now we have to turn this again. Okay, so we had the door open, right? Alright, so now go back to this wheel here. And... Yeah, keep turning it. Until... Uh, no, not like that. Keep going. We have to get that door up again. Alright, one more turn should do it. There it is. Now we just go back on the top of here. There we go. Ah, uh, this is the area I was talking about. Okay. So this is the one where our, uh, the drawers kind of get glitchy, where it shows it's glowing blue, even though there's like no items that pop out. So I want to show you which one it is. It's these two drawers right over here that I had a problem with. And I think it's because this billboard is blocking. That might be the reason why, but let me see. Alright, so now if I highlight... See? You see what I mean? They're still glowing blue, right? But if you look, like there's no items. Right? And I think the issue is these drawers did not fully pop out because of these billboards. So... Yeah, just some entity blocking it or something. Alright. Um, let's proceed. No, actually, we can get these ones. Which one did I not get? Oh, this one has a problem as well. I probably just didn't get the item from somewhere. Oh no, never mind. So this one has an issue as well. Yeah, I don't... I don't know what the, what the issue is, I guess. Alright, well, whatever. Grab this. Alright, so once you grab the items from here, turn around, we're gonna go this way. And we have another save here, so we can save our game. Let's do that really quickly. Now we can go this way. There's going to be another one of those turning puzzles and it's going to be a little bit more difficult than the first one we did. But overall it's still not too bad. Okay, this is where we have some enemies to kill so let's take them out. they were all dead so I reloaded. Scan and make sure you collect all your items. One here. Right. One here. Oh, this also, this as well. Okay, let me give it the, another look here. One item left, and that's it, just this one. Now I'll proceed down. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Alright, there we go. Not stuck anymore. All 
All right, climb all the way up. And let's grab this blueprint in here. Okay, so we're getting close to that puzzle now that I was talking about. I think it should be up here. Yeah, this is it. Uh, I think this is the one. First, hold on. I can't remember if there's any items down here, is there? Uh, no items down here, okay. So we can just get straight to the puzzle then. But first, you should probably save your game. And this door can be opened from the other side. So let's focus on doing that first, which we can actually do right now. You don't have to do any puzzles yet. Just climb on top of here, jump, and the first part is complete already. Or wait. Yeah, there it is. I got a little confused there for a second. I took a break off this game for one day, and so my memory isn't completely fresh. All right. Let's do this. Is this the color coded one? God damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this off camera because uh, this one is different for every single person. Okay, got it. Alright, so let's just head right here. Yeah, I think that's... I think that's okay. Or... let's see... Yeah... How's that? Perfect. Ah, here it is. I was looking for this chest. Alright, grab that chest. Alright, so let's... Got it. So do that. And we basically just... Uh... <laughs> yeah, we took the... Uh... The really uh, short way up here. You have to. Usually, they want you to fuck around with that puzzle, but we just uh, we took the easy way. So save your game. All right. Make sure there's no other items, and <laughs> we're already done with this. So. So once we get out here, we're going to double check the map to make sure that we have all the blueprints. So you're going to have to make sure that everything is checkmarked and is highlighted green. So I'm just going to not cut anything out because I want you guys to see that we have, we have everything. Oh shit. Bro, get out of here. Alright, so let's take a look at the map. And as you can see, Polygon 6 is complete, 100%. All blueprints have been acquired. 